Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We talk the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. I am Laura Gonzalez. This is Coffee Break with Tara by Laura Gonzalez. And I have a new toy. And I was going to wait. And I was going to do an unboxing video. And I'm going to. I was going to show you, but I can wait. I can wait to use them. First of all, look at the box. Look at the box. Isn't it amazing? So if the box is this cool, wait until you see the actual deck of cards. It is a Rider Wise Smith. But yes, it is a Rider Wise Smith. But all the cards are black. Look at the lovers. Oh my god. I'm so excited. And the back of the deck looks like this i i pay pretty money for it and of course it has a little booklet as well you know like every right and white um and i was like i said i was gonna do an unboxing video i can i can wait to use it and this is a creation from the craft cards store craft where is it craft cards store Oop, there it is so craft cards store is just a wonderful deck of cards and let's see if we can work with it cheers mm. I know you all are taking a day off. You know how I know that? Because there's only two people watching. And everybody else is probably sleeping in. Or they're already barbecuing. Or I don't know what's happening. Hi, Regina. <laughs> Hi, my friends in IGTV. To all my friends on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Hi, hi, hi. And, of course, all my friends on Facebook Live, what up? If you are having a day off, if you are having a holiday, more power to you. Um, and if you have someone to remember today, may they live and be honored forever. All right, so let's see. What are the cards for today? Oh my god, this looks so beautiful. They're all on the table, fan, and of course is the black background and it's just darling. Alright, so let's see where are the cards for this week. And I have three cards. They're a little thick, so it's a little bit hard to fan them. But, I mean, completely black Rider White Smith cards, I think they are worth every penny. And I did pay a lot of money for them. I know I said that already, but it, it, I never paid that much for a tarot deck of cards. So, let's see what is in there for this week. And first of all, we have the star. So, this is talking about new beginnings, doing things in new letting go of things that no longer serve us and releasing even the last bit of it so we can have a completely and absolutely empty cup so it can fill and renew that is wonderful the second card is the high priestess reverse and she's telling us you know we don't have to be quiet we don't have to 
um, hide anymore. It is okay to come out. It is okay to be vocal and be out in the open. And it is okay to live your truth openly. You don't have to hide anymore. And last but not least, we have the Queen of Cups reverse. And this is also about not controlling our emotions or trying not to control. It's, it is also about letting go. Now, so here's the kicker. Because the cards are black, it's hard to appreciate. But all these cards, first I'm going to show Instagram and then I'm going to come show you here on Facebook. All these cards have water being thrown away. They all have the detail of water being released. Because when you have first the star throwing away some water, then you have the high priestess reverse with her water being upside down. And then you have the Queen of Cups also with the water being upside down. It is talking about releasing a lot of emotion. And I can, I can share something with y'all. When I was doing all the readings for the new year back in December, every single reading spoke about people coming out in June. I did not adventure to tell that to everybody like hey guess what guys everything is going back to normal in june because to me that was just a coincidence that most of my readings were saying june everything will be back to normal and what do i know right i'm just one reader well it turns out that in the reality of the united states because it's not the same for the whole world but in the reality of the united states it looks like things will go back to normal or some sense of normalcy in June and June begins tomorrow so it is not coincidence to me that the reading is saying don't hide anymore let those feelings go um, let the waters run cleanse yourself I mean there is a lot of emotional charge of gaining or regaining some sense of normalcy things are never going to be the same i don't think they will ever be the same i personally will still be wearing my mask if i go to a private event or if it is a close um, venue however we feel more confident with numbers being a little bit lower and yes i'm talking about COVID. um to go out and to have kind of like some sense of normalcy. So it does make a lot of sense to me to let go of all feelings that don't serve us no more, to be out on the open and showing our true selves, kind of like being less anxious and more confident on speaking our truth and showing our real emotions and the queen of cups reverse also letting go of that anxiety letting go of that need to control the emotional outcomes of everything this talks about maturity folks are we more mature can we have better relationships is that what tara is saying to us i guess it is i guess it is so whatever your journey takes you this week don't translate yourself to anybody. Don't edit yourself. You know, be your true self. This is an opportunity. This is a new beginning. This is a new way of rebirth. We are all reborn into, reborn into society. And it's going to be messy. And it's going to be very wet. It's very aquatic. But at the same time, it's going to be very honest and it's going to be very true to yourself. Wow. I am in awe. I see you show the tarot. If I was not in awe every time I read the tarot, I would not read the tarot. Period. 
with that, uh, I will say goodbye to my friends from IGTV. Peace. And I will say goodbye to y'all here on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And please, please, please be safe. And never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye.